Myanmar is in the grip of a brutal civil conflict. Here's everything you need to know. Myanmar, formerly known as Burma, is an ethnically diverse nation in Southeast Asia. Its history is long and complex. But essentially, what you need to know is that the country gained independence from Britain in 1948. In 1962, the country was taken over by a military junta. They ruled for decades until 2011, when the country started its journey towards democracy, albeit one where 25% of seats in the parliament would be reserved for the military. In 2015, the face of the pro-democracy movement Aung San Suu Kyi took power. But this wouldn't last long. In 2021, the military took over the country again, claiming the 2020 election was fraudulent and corrupt. Since then, the military, also known as the Tamador, have ruled with an iron fist. With reports of mass killings, thousands of arrests and human rights abuses across the country. Aung San Suu Kyi is the most recognisable figure in Myanmar. The pro-democracy activist was placed under house arrest by the military junta in 1989 and she was detained for 15 of the following 21 years. In that time, she was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. She became an MP in 2012, and then in 2015, led the NLD to a landslide victory. She was banned from becoming president, but was essentially de facto leader as state councillor. Ms. Suu Kyi's government was embroiled in the Rohingya crisis, with the country accused of genocide against the Muslim minority. In 2020, another landslide victory followed, but the government was soon deposed by the military once again, with the junta claiming the election results were fraudulent. Ms. Suu Kyi was imprisoned once again, facing 33 charges of corruption. Min Aung Hlaing is the current leader of Myanmar. He once worked closely with Ms. Suu Kyi, but in 2021, he led the military coup, declaring a state of emergency in the country. He once promised free and fair elections in Myanmar, but the state of emergency keeps being extended. He's been criticised by international groups for the widespread human rights abuses in the country. The junta are not ruling unopposed. Soon after the military coup, pro-democracy groups combined to form the National Unity Government, essentially a government in exile. From this emerged the People's Defence Force, an armed wing of the NUG. They are essentially local militias fighting against the junta, but they are not new. Many have been fighting the military since long before 2021, but since the coup, they have only grown and they are fighting the junta in brutal battles across various areas in Myanmar. The military does not control swathes of the country, and this is where the bulk of that fighting takes place. These recent human rights abuses have left Myanmar a pariah across the Western world. Countries including the US, the UK, Australia and Canada have introduced sanctions on the country. Myanmar does, however, have support from Russia and China, with the UN saying they are sending arms and other material to the military junta. Russian and Chinese aircraft are being used in airstrikes on the rebels, sometimes targeting hospitals. China in particular is vital for Myanmar. It's its biggest trading partner and they share a long border and some cultural affinity. China benefits from the relationship because it can use its neighbor as a passageway for goods to reach the much coveted Indian Ocean and beyond. So that takes us to today. The military junta remains in control with no sign of those free and fair elections that were due to take place in August 2023. Instead, they are leading an authoritarian crackdown on dissenters, 
using brutal violence, arrests and torture on its enemies. Anti-military protests are difficult, with the military cracking down on any demonstrations. PDF fighters continue their guerrilla attacks on the military. It's thought they have tens of thousands of troops. But it's a fragmented force, and one that's up against a military junta with decades of experience in crushing resistance. So for now, it seems that Myanmar is locked in this brutal stalemate, and it has no sign of ending anytime soon.